back with the nail design. This is probably going to be a little bit shorter video because um, I am on a time schedule here. Um, but here is the design. Um, it is using a new Sinful Colors that I got this week um, called Pull Over. And it's using a Conad Black Pearl to stamp with. And um, my Cheeky 2013, this is the Home Sweet Home Plate. I've used this before. Um, and I used this birdcage design, and I also used this bird house design. So hopefully you can see those. Um, I have pictures in the actual video, so excuse me for looking like a wreck. I've been cleaning and working today. Um, but this is this week's nail design. Um, I use the same base color throughout the whole thing. Um, you can see here that I alternated the two stamping images and then right here um, This is China glaze world away from the Cirque du Soleil collection on the accent nail um, Just to make it look a little bit different. So it's kind of loud. It's kind of crazy um, But I really like the yellow and the black. Um, they look really good together. So I might use those um, later on in a different design um, so yeah, this is kind of like bird themed, I guess, for summer. Um, so yeah, so there's the design. If you like it, go ahead and stay tuned. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started with the video and I will see you in the next upload. Bye! Okay, so for the base coat on all 10 of my nails, I used one color. I used my new Simple Colors Pull Over. This is not a newly released polish, but it is new to me. I just picked this up today and I really wanted to use it. Um, the thing about this polish is it did take three coats and rather thick coats in order for it to be completely opaque and to not have any streaks or patches in it. Um, yellows are usually difficult to work with, but after three coats, it did look really wonderful it was a beautiful kind of golden yellow so I really really do enjoy the color the formula is great it's just with yellows it is a challenge to make them look their best so I did three coats of this and then of course I have to use my um, nail polish remover to clean up around the edges and let it dry I do want to show you really quickly how I clean up around the outside of my nails. I had someone ask me exactly how I do this, so I do want to show you. I use a small dappen dish and I pour my acetone in it. I usually use the 100% acetone nail polish remover. And then I use this tiny, it's actually an eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. Um, I got this for I believe a dollar at Walmart, but it's really small and it works well for me at least to just go around the perimeter of my nails. So I just dip it in and make sure that the brush is completely saturated and it is going to drip down your hand. So I always have a paper towel underneath to catch any drips. And of course you don't want to do this on a surface that could be damaged by the acetone. Um, where I'm working now is just an old desk so it really doesn't matter if it gets stained or if the finish gets washed away from the acetone but you do want to keep that in mind as you're cleaning up because this will drip down your finger and I just make sure the brush is completely saturated and just basically follow the outside of my nail and it just eliminates the polish and it just drips right off um, so it works really well and it's really easy. Okay, after you've cleaned up around the edges of your nails and you are finished with your base color, apply one layer of any top coat of your choice and let that dry completely and totally before stamping. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start stamping with the Conad Black Pearl. Um, you can kind of see how I stamp. If you watched any of my videos before, you've probably already seen this process. Um, 
it's basically the same as anybody else. I just place the polish at the top of the image. I'm gonna scrape the polish down through the entire image so that way you save polish and don't have to paint the whole image with it. And then of course you just put it on your stamper and apply it to your nail. Okay, so I'm gonna alternate from nail to nail with the two different images, and I'm going to skip stamping my accent nail because I'm gonna use the China Glaze um, glitter on top of that. So I'm just gonna switch between the two images um, with each nail that I stamp, so you can see that here. Okay, so as you can see here, I stamped every nail except for my two accent nails. And now I'm gonna use China Glaze World Away from the Cirque du Soleil collection, and I'm just going to paint this over my accent nails um, because I think it will show up really well against the yellow background. Okay, so here is the finished product. I'm going to add one more coat of my top coat on top of everything since I'm totally done with the design. And then of course I'm gonna let that dry and then I am finished. So I hope you like the design. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment the video. Let me know what you'd like to see next if you'd like to see a specific design or maybe something with a specific polish. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time.